In one of your calculus courses, you have al already learned to work with vectors in the plane and vectors in space. In linear algebra, the concept of vectors and their operations are extended to vectors with more than three components. Until now, we have looked at linear systems by reading each of the equations horizontally. Have another look at this system. You have enough knowledge about vectors in R3 to write this system in the following alternative way. In this way, the linear system has become a so-called vector equation. Can you do this in general for any system of m equations in n variables? Of course you can, but to be able to do this, we need to extend our concept of vectors. In linear algebra, a vector can have any finite number of components. If a vector v has n components, you can write this as a column with the numbers v1, v2, and so on, until you reach the last number, vn. If you take all vectors with n components, we get a set called Rn. So if you say a vector v is an Rn, you know that v has n components. Now assume you have two vectors, u and v, both in Rn. Just as for two or three components, u and v are equal, if and only if all components are equal. There exists a special vector in Rn, which has all components zero. This vector is called the zero vector. The number of zeros this vector has is sometimes given, but mostly it's clear from the context. Now take two vectors u and v, both in Rn. You could add these vectors together to form a new vector u plus v. You do this by adding each component separately, and we call this operation vector addition. As an example, let us add two vectors from R4. Take u as 1, 2, 3, 4, and v at 2, 3, 4, 5. The sum of u and v is now 3, 5, 7, 9. You can also multiply a vector u by a scalar c, which is called scalar multiplication. Remember that a scalar is just a single number. The scalar multiple of u by c is now a vector cu, where each component of u has been multiplied by c. As an example, let us multiply a vector from R4 and a scalar. Take u as 1, 2, 3, 4 and c at 3. The scalar product of u by c is now 3, 6, 9, 12. In one of your calculus courses, you may have seen the following list of 8 properties. Turns out, they are also valid in Rn. So you're still allowed to use these properties in calculation with vectors in Rn. If we have a finite number of vectors v1, v2, up to vp in Rn, and the same numbers of scalars c1, c2, up to cp, you can combine these to form a new vector y. Such a combination of vectors is called a linear combination of v1 up to vp with weights c1 up to cp. Note that you do not have to write brackets because of the properties of scalar multiplication and vector addition. Let's say you want to know whether the vector 7, 4, minus 3 is a linear combination of the two vectors 1, minus 2, minus 5 and 2, 5, 6. This is the same as asking the question whether there are weights x1 and x2, such as x1 times the second vector plus x2 times the third vector equals the first vector. Let's solve this. First perform the scalar multiplication, then do the vector addition. Now we have two vectors which should be equal. But this can only happen if each component is equal, so we must solve the shown linear system. The augmented matrix of this linear system has the shown reduced row echelon form. This gives you that the solution to the initial equation with the three vectors should be x1 equals 3 and x2 equals 2. So you now know that there are weights x1 and x2, such that x1 times the second vector plus x2 times the third vector equals the first vector. And thi this means directly that 7, 4, minus 3 is indeed a linear combination of 1, minus 2, minus 5 and 2, 5, 6. The first equation on the previous slide, x1 times a1 plus x2 times a2 equals b, is an example of a vector equation. When you try to solve this vector equation, you arrive at a linear system after some manipulation. In general, we can say the following. Vector equation 1 
has exactly the same solution set as the linear system with the augmented matrix with columns A1 up to AN and B. You can even say that B is a linear combination of A1 up to AN, if and only if the linear system with the augmented matrix is consistent. Now you know how to perform vector addition and scalar multiplication with vectors in Rn. You also are able to investigate whether vector is a linear combination of other vectors by interpreting the vector equation as a linear system. In class you will learn what the set of all linear combinations of a fixed set of vectors is. This is one of the most important concepts in linear algebra.